That's right, Abigail. So no one was allowed in or outside of the school. In fact, the students had to stay inside the school and had to be escorted to their bus or car. And kids walking home had to stay at the school until a parent or guardian picked them up. This school and others on alert after this latest threat. Three reports of possible threats in 24 hours to three schools in the metro. OKCPS tweeting last night that they are working with police to investigate a threat made on social media against Capitol Hill Middle School. It was basically a social media screenshots of a threat. School officials contacting police and their security team taking swift action, stepping up security. At this point, we do not believe there is any credibility to this threat, but as always, we will investigate every incident very seriously. Now OKCPS investigating a second threat, this one at Mary Golda Ross Middle School, where a possible threat was made there. Extra police on hand there this afternoon as parents filed in line as a controlled dismissal was conducted and Middell Public Schools launching an investigation after a student made a verbal threat against a student during lunch. Both districts working with police in the investigation. These types of threats are definitely very disruptive um, and they are taken very seriously. It is not a joke. Um, every student involved will be disciplined according to the student code of conduct. Now, no one was hurt in any of these instances, but the district does say that this is a very serious matter that's punishable, that the students can either be suspended or be arrested and face charges. Reporting live tonight, Patrina Adger, KOCO 5 News.